I'm here with the Hewlett guy, Trey. Hi, Trey. So we're gonna we're gonna trim back, starting here. We're gonna trim back this trellis. We're gonna have to lose about three rows of the trellis and trim all this back. And the tent's gonna come over this roof line and down the house here, like that. It's gonna come around the, the um, air conditioners. And then back on this side, the tent's gonna go over this part of the roof and then come down and that's why we have to trim this wood back a little bit. I'm going to try to do it where I might be able to put it back later on. Um, then over here, we're going to just go over this flowering vine. We think it's a possibility it could live through the fumigation. It'll turn brown probably and get burned from the chemical. but. Um, Hopefully it'll grow back. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to have it taken out. And then going around the side of the house here, we're probably going to have to trim around this to come over this trellis. And hopefully the, the tenting doesn't break this delicate little trellis. Um, I may get on a ladder and look at taking that down. Although it, would, it wouldn't be that hard to replace that really. All right, so going around to the front. I'm going to move these pots right here off of the patio. Because the tent is going to go over and around the staircase, around the bomb shelter. Yeah. And then, what about these? Are these okay? Well, they're sharp as could be, but we can go in between them. I mean, you're going to go on this side of them. It's full of water. This is super heavy. These aren't going to be able to get moved. Yeah. But let's try to go around those. I think you should be able to. There's plenty of room yeah, there. Yeah, just a razor sharp. Well, I'll cut them you know, for you. Yeah, if you can step them back, to be great. All right. So the big thing is, and Trey and I have already discussed this before I made the video. Um, this tree right here happens to be, I don't know if my hand gives you some perspective, it's, it's, it's a fairly beefy sea grape um, coming out of the bottom, it's the double trunk. We think we can take out about six inches of this side, well actually not six, but enough to give a six inch uh, gap for the treatment to go in, um, for the tent to go down. So I'm going to try to get Victor Diaz to cut that. But ultimately, because of the proximity to your foundation, I think in the long run, we're gonna take this tree out. It's a nice tree, but I don't think it really, you know, it doesn't, it's not gonna ruin your house. And you know, your neighbor's already complaining about it. The lady's already talked to me a few times about it. So that's what we're going to do. This is Troy, your termite guy. And um, I'm going to get involved myself. I'll come over here with some clippers and I'll have the landscape guys work on this. And that is all I got for you today.